please go ahead. Pretty please with a cherry on top, okay? Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking a little bit about the state of Fortnite. First off, I want to apologize for being inactive recently. I've been taking a break from Fortnite, and I've actually been pursuing playing Rocket League at a high level. I'm participating in HSCL, which is a high school esports league for Rocket League. Um, and so I've been practicing a lot with a couple of my friends, which means I've had less time to play Fortnite. Um, but actually, playing so much Rocket League is what inspired me to come back and make this video. Since I've been playing so much Rocket League lately, I've gotten very familiar with the ranking system, and it made me think about why Fortnite doesn't have a ranking system. I was wondering why I've had no interest in playing the game recently, and that issue is very simple for me. Before I start posing any hypotheticals though, and get into this kind of controversial topic, I want to make it clear that any ideas I state in this video are very much prototypes, and really what I hope for this video to do is spark a discussion surrounding the state of Fortnite, so let's all be respectful in the comments um, and try to stay productive. Okay, now to get started, what really made me think about making this video was my lack of interest in Fortnite. I've been very into Rocket League lately, as I've already mentioned, and I think the biggest factor that distinguishes the two games for me is the queuing system. When I queue into games of Rocket League, I am challenged with the opponents I face. They are difficult to play against, but most importantly, there is room for me to improve. When I queue into Fortnite though, I often leave games feeling like the reason I died was out of my control. It's almost like the game is less rewarding, because when I fight people that are better than me, it's not even fair. And the skill gap is so wide that when I kill people, it's like, great, I just ruined some newbies day. See, the problem in my eyes is that Fortnite has possibly the highest skill gap of any game I've played. The good players are so good it's insane, and the not so good players don't even stand a chance. It's like putting professional sports players against little kids and having the professionals try their best. How can you expect the kids to have fun like that? I'm not advocating for a system where everyone wins because that's impractical, but there's a point when playing against people better than you goes from being a challenge to not even being fun anymore. This reason primarily is why I think it's about time Fortnite introduces ranked and casual game mode options. There's been a lot of talk in recent months about Fortnite dying, and in my opinion, this is one of the best ways to extend the life of this game. Because right now, you have this massive barrier to entry for the game, and I've seen so many big YouTubers talk about the decline of new players. In order to understand this dying of the game and the decline of new players, I think you really have to put yourself in the newbie's shoes. Imagine you just load up Fortnite today and try to start playing the game completely fresh. How would you go about improving? What do you even do against a player that can build really well, as someone who is just starting out? To be honest, I'm surprised it's been this long since Fortnite's release, and yet there still isn't skill-based matchmaking, or at least the option for it. Now once again, before I get into outlining the ins and outs of what this system might look like, I want to say that I'm going to avoid discussing the metrics that this rating system might use, since if it's implemented, I trust Fortnite's devs will be able to create an algorithm that can effectively sort players, just like in many other complex games such as Dota or Rocket League like I mentioned before. Okay, so let's take a look at the hypothetical scenario where Fortnite gets a ranking system, and that if you choose to, you can queue into lobbies of players with similar skill levels. How does this change Fortnite, and what are the pros and cons? First, let's address the pros. One of the most rewarding feelings in Fortnite is going up against someone who is actually your level and outplaying them. Like I said before, having an even playing field is critical to keeping a game popular in the long term. Think League of Legends, Dota 2, Rocket League, CSGO. All old games that have kept a strong concurrent player base due to their ranking systems. Having a ranking system attracts new players because it gives them the space to learn the game with others at their same level. The conversion from a purely casual game would attract more competitive minded players, many of whom left because of how casual the game is. So it should cause a big influx in new players and old players too, because these old players will have a chance to come back and improve without feeling lost. Just the announcement of a ranking system should cause a big publicity spike, and many players will come back and get placed to see their skill levels. Many people would argue that Fortnite's solo showdowns address the issue of the game being too casual, but this isn't a viable alternative to a proper ranking system because of the fact that these modes are geared only to reward the highest skill players, and they don't address the vast majority of players, especially the new players that we were talking about earlier, who have no interest in these modes. A rating system is also a good long-term strategy for Fortnite to stay relevant. MMR is a big driver to play for a lot of people, 
and having a concrete measure of your skill, seeing yourself improve, is a big deal. If you look at games like Dota 2 or CSGO, the reason they have stayed popular year after year is because their rating systems are so well done that people who are already playing are invested in improving, and new players can come try the game out without feeling punished for being new. I could go on for hours talking about what a competitive system might mean for Fortnite, but in the interest of keeping this video a reasonable length, let's quickly go over some cons. It seems to me like there aren't as many cons as there are pros, but one of the biggest arguments against the rating system is that people say it will ruin Fortnite's casual appeal, that the game will become less fun and more toxic. Keep in mind though that Fortnite will still be a casual game. It will have all of its funny game modes, wild items, and cool interactions that make it what it is. The difference is that players will now have the option, if they want to, to queue against players at their level. I've seen big players like Ninja say competitive isn't a good fit for Fortnite. His biggest argument is that he says it will make the game no fun for those stuck at bottom elos and that it might make the game more toxic. But let me ask you this, are the people at the bottom really having fun right now? How many players does this game have left before those who are super skilled have eaten through all of the remaining player base? Just something to think about. All right, that is going to wrap things up for this video. I know this is kind of a controversial topic and people will have strong opinions for or against the ranking system. So please do try to be respectful in the comments. As always, if you did find this video interesting, please do leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. That was pretty epic.